Now, when we talk about budget for marketing, you have to look at it from this perspective. Marketing is not an expense. It's an investment. Okay? Your, your, the, the amount of money that you spend on your marketing should be about 10% of what your revenue is. So, if you are spending $5,000 a month on marketing, you should be making $50,000 a month. <clears throat> That's two or three deals. Um, and as a ballpark, you should be acquiring at least one deal for every $500 you spend on marketing. Now, let's, let's think about that for a minute. $500 to acquire one deal. And if we make $25,000 on that deal, that's a pretty big return on investment. And there aren't many other places that you can get that type of return on investment on your marketing dollars than in the short sale business. <clears throat> Another thing is, if you chest out a media and you only spend $200 on that media, you really haven't spent enough money to test whether it's effective or not. Like, for example, um, you know, if you spend $200 on a newspaper ad for a week and you don't get a deal, well, it's really not a long enough time to have the ad in the newspaper to test that. So, you know, you, you would probably need to extend that for the month and see how many deals you can get out of it. And marketing is a lot about testing. Um, in a moment, I'm going to give you some tested and proven templates that you can copy and use in your marketing so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. <clears throat> but um, if you want to expand past that and do other things and get into other medias to generate more leads, testing is what you need to do in your marketing. All right. I'm going to talk to you about how to get all of your letters hand addressed for you. Because I know you don't want to do it. And I know if you ask your spouse to do it, you'll probably get divorced. <laughs> and then you'll be doing it. <laughs> yeah. Michael, we like slave labor. <clears throat> um, really, to find somebody to be able to do this for you is very easy. It takes some management to do it, but it's pretty easy to find somebody to do it. Um, because it's a job that a lot of people would like to have. A stay-at-home mom that doesn't work is a good job for them. Also, uh, also, that doesn't have a regular job. I know that stay-at-home moms, and especially Sarah's job, is harder than mine. So that's not what I meant by that. I don't think I could do her job. Get out of the hole. Dig yourself back out. <laughs> Um, but a lot of people, a lot of stay-at-home moms like this type of job. Um, also, nursing homes, people that live in nursing homes like this type of thing too. And we can typically pay between uh, five cents to forty cents per piece, depending on how involved it is, because the the letter that I send out is very involved. I mean, it takes a lot of time. It's a lot of handwriting to it, um, and I'll show it to you. <coughs> Um, <clears throat> so here is where, here's the ad that you can, um, <clears throat> to run. And if you run in the paper for three days or seven days, you'll get dozens of applicants. Stuff seal and, and dress envelopes from home. Great pay. 24-hour recorded info. <clears throat> and run that ad. It's a two-step ad. And... Um, you'll put a, a message on the recorded message 
That is the job description of the whole job and what you're looking for them to do. So you don't have to talk to every single one of these people that call you because you probably get 25 or 30 people inquire about this over three days because it's a, it's a job that's in demand, I guess, because um, <clears throat> it gets a lot of response. Now, when you're finding somebody to do this job for you, it's very important to find somebody that's reliable and that can complete the job on a daily basis because these letters marketing to the foreclosure list need to be sent on the same day the lead comes out. And I can't stress that enough. That is how you get deals from the foreclosure list. That's the best way to get deals from the foreclosure list. 